My name is Jeffrey Chui. I'm from uh, Minnesota. I had to come all the way uh, to see what uh, Optiven uh, has in terms of projects. Uh, I've heard about Optiven, but uh, I had to come all the way just to make sure that uh, what they're saying is what they have. And I think uh, uh, we're hopefully going to see a lot of nice stuff, so come along. We are outside uh, one of their projects. It's called uh, Victory Gardens. Uh, one of their premier projects and what I can see right off the shoot is that uh, they already have power in place already uh, as you can see uh, uh, up there uh, and then on my right side also you can see that they already have uh, water in place water tanks in place already so that means that uh, as it comes to power and water uh, they are already uh, in place and then also as you can see uh, the, the road network uh, is already in place and then as, as we go inside you'll see more of what they have so come along Uh, as you can see now, we are, we are inside uh, and you can see that uh, it, it's a big piece of land, around 30 acres. This piece of land has already been bought by prospective uh, clients uh, who, are, who are still waiting to, to, to actually start building their, uh, 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 their projects. But the good thing that I can say is that around the neighborhood, I can, you can already see that people already started building uh, very nice houses, which to me means that uh, once this thing is done, you have neighbors who are already uh, set to go and the, the environment basically is going to be pretty good and according to maybe our standards that uh, we, we think it, they should have. Uh, yeah, and then as you can see, actually if you can see all the way, you can see Nairobi at the other side, but I will say the view is beautiful at night when there's lights, so, but you can see all the way. And then on the other side, is Tangela Town. So this area pretty much where we have the project, uh, it's called Apak Tangela. You know, we already have a, a school close by, Acacia, Acacia International, uh, which is close by, it's a boarding school. So I think in terms of amenities, in terms of uh, starting a life here, school, close shopping center, uh, good neighbors, I think this is a, a worthy project that I think uh, some of you should start thinking about, about. So for me, I have to come here just to make sure because I know a lot of companies come to the U.S. and tell us about projects. Uh, but until you come on the ground and actually see that uh, it's happening, then you get that uh, buy-in. So for me, I had to come and what I'm seeing so far is, uh, is, is good. That's all for phase one and two. Uh, this is uh, George Mutetti. He, he's the diaspora uh, manager for Optiven. So he's going to take me to the next phase uh, three and four. Uh, so we'll see you guys there. Geoffrey, thank you, thank you, thank you. welcome to Victory Gardens Phase 3 and 4. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, this is a home of uh, peace, tranquility and serenity. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Looks good, looks good, looks good. As you can see, it's a gated community. Very wonderful, so wonderful gate. Yeah. It's the place to be, Victory Gardens Phase 3. So, so beautiful place. And as you can see, we have started the installation of the street solar lights. This place is going to be lit because we are a company that believes in a green energy. We have done uh, a number of value additions. As you can see, the roads very beautiful, nine meter wide. Here we have uh, set aside a place for the police post, that security center. And on the other side, we have done a place for the taxi bay. If anybody wants to catch 
a taxi maybe to Kitengela or even Nairobi, it's, it's convenient to do so. And again at the extreme end there, we have set aside some space for barbecue because you know people love Nyamachoma. Down this side we have set aside some space for uh, Peace Park. It's basically a recreation, recreation center. And we have got water here. And we have done the piping okay. to ensure that the place has got water. Okay. Oh man, there's, there's water here, man. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. So we have done the piping at each and every single plot to okay. just ensure that there is ample water uh, supply. This place will gonna be the the Mutaiga or even the Runda yeah, yeah. of uh, Kitengela. We are planting around 2,000 trees because we believe a green environment is a other environment. Yeah. And this is the Amani Avenue denoting peace. It goes all the way towards the, the end. Hi guys, uh, as you can see, uh, I am at Victory Gardens. I came just to, to see for myself uh, in terms of what exactly uh, is optive and talking about when they say that it, you can buy land and actually build. So I have two other phase one, phase two and phase three, which are all sold out. Uh, the good thing is phase four, uh, uh, which I intend to, to buy one of the one, one or two plots from, from them. I think uh, I'm sold. I mean, everything seems to be ready here. You know, you've got lights, you've got good roads, uh, you've got water. And then on one phase, you also got an, an artificial river, which is actually something that I, uh, I admire. Uh, but then on top of that too, uh, I like the area. You know, you can, you can feel the cool breeze as you can look around. And right now where I'm standing, I mean, looks good. You know, wow. and from what I'm seeing, you know, work has already started. I can see the, the houses right here. You know, already people are beginning to actually <laughs> build, okay. so which is good. Uh, but the key thing is, I think uh, most of us in the diaspora, you know, when you think about investing back home, uh, you want to work with a company that, that is uh, credible, a company that actually uh, delivers. You know, because most of us deal with uh, you know friends, relatives who actually uh, don't come through. But having a, a professional company like Optiven uh, that actually uh, uh, values uh, the clients that uh, that they have, I think for me is very key. Uh, but for me, as a, as as many of you, uh, coming here uh, to see for myself and actually to 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 to, to, to inspect what they have uh, has been key. And I think uh, I'm confident that uh, Optiven is one of the companies of that uh, if you if you want to invest in Kenya uh, uh, in terms of uh, you know buying land and building. Uh, Optiven uh, is a good company to, to think about. Uh, they have very professional staff who will walk you through in terms of what they have. Uh, and, quite, and quite honestly, they will uh, they will be very blunt in terms of what they tell you. You know, their priority is, actually, is to make sure that they deliver on what you want. They have no, uh, they don't cut corners. You know, I've seen that for myself, and I can attest to that. So, for me, uh, I would say that uh, you know, in the diaspora, if you're willing to, to invest back home and you want a company that you can work with uh, in terms of uh, uh, where you feel secure and, when, uh, and where you know your investment is actually worth it, then I think uh, you, should, you should look at Optiven. My visit here has been very nice and, uh, and I thank Optiven and the staff for, for giving that chance to be, to, to be here, so thank you. Optiven Limited, the pay satyrs in real estate.